So here we go, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wow. Okay. I really wasn't expecting it to be this stable. And you know my best favorite thing to do to lose altitude? Let me show you. Man, who needs forest when you have a vertical climb on 3S? Superb, man. Really, absolutely a stable flying platform, quiet climb rate on this. Ho, 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 ho. And you can fly it inverted through all the aerobatics. Man, what else do you need, huh? Look at that. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings. Ali Shanmo here. Welcome outdoors and fixed wing FPV pilots around the world. This is Ishin Flying Fish, a twin rotor FPV glider that offers mid to low speed of FPV flying. I would say relaxing cruising FPV flying. It comes PMP with everything plug and play, no soldering required. Install your receiver, configure your radio control system, put a 3S or up to 4S battery inside and start flying right away. And yes, if you want, you can also configure this for a differential thrust. However, it's a full-fledged four-channel glider, so it does have a rudder, and I don't think any need for doing the differential thrust. But again, if some people want to do differential thrust, it is programmable for that. So let me give you a closer look at it's already I'll give it a flight right away and fly FPV as well and see how good it flies and how good it is for FPV flights. Definitely for short range FPV. And by the way, I also brought the Ishin Mobula FPV flying wing, which you'll watch the video review on my channel as well. I might be able to do it together. Let's focus on the Ishin flying fish first. And let me give you a closer look, talk about its features and we'll give it a flight right away. Okay, starting with the wingspan, it's a 650 millimeter wingspan, a small FPV glider with twin motors, a spinning three blade, three inch propellers. These are 5,000 kV motors, man. They could offer you a lot of RPM right there. It comes as complete PNP and kit version, but I like the PNP version, why? I'll show it to you later. Now, the very good feature about this is that it's a sub 250 gram uh, you know aircraft so you can fly FPV without worrying about restrictions in countries where there are restrictions uh, on FPV aircraft and drones that are heavier than 250 now let me just take the canopy off right here you can fit a 3s or 4s uh, 650 milliamp batteries to balance the CGs I just have 700 milliamp batteries, so, you know, they said actually you can fit up to 850 milliamp. I have a 3S 700 milliamp and 4S uh, 550 milliamp, so I'll be able to give flights with both batteries and see how things go. Now, in the PNP version, you will see that there's a video transmitter, 500 milliwatt video transmitter, which is the Ishin video transmitter, is right away very easy to set up, and using just one button, you can actually switch frequency bands, and also you can set the power up to 500 milliwatt, which is a lot of power for you to fly FPV and get a very, very solid feed. Then there are two servos right here, okay, one at the left and one at the right. These are for the rudder and elevator, okay, very nice and soft servos. Seems like they are digital servos, man. So very nice right here. And then, hold on, where do you install your receiver? And the question, if you have enough space for flight controller installation, well, I'll show it to you, but do remember, but do notice there's a Foxier nano camera. There's a little tiny FPV camera, Foxier FPV camera already installed here. And on top of the canopy, they, it did came with two different canopies. I put this one up. I thought I would be able to put a small Lego guy in, in here and give it, give him some flights. Anyway, so let me just take this thing off so you can see inside. And I can answer the question if you can install a flight controller or not. There's a all-in-one. ESC unit okay 
and BC everything is supplied inside everything in here connected to the motors and also uh, a camera cable coming which is going to the VTX okay and then you can have this cable which goes to your receiver now let me show you my receiver I'm just using a Futaba R208 SB uh, son of a bitch <laughs> SB receiver <laughs> and uh, I just had to put you know plug two cables from elevator and um, rudder and one cable for the throttle and one cable for the ailerons which is coming from the you know uh, the all-in-one ESC and that's all and you can configure it as a four channel FPV or, I mean normal aircraft and you can start flying for those who would like to ask can you set um, you know simple flight controller that offers you RTH I believe you should be able to fit spare two. I mean look at that there's plenty of space there I can move the receiver backward and put the sparrow 2 right here and add the GPS somewhere on top and I will have RTH on this plane so I can possibly go farther without worries I can push more range on it because I know if something goes wrong the sparrow 2 is going to bring my plane back Okay, so there's nothing much to see except that, of course, I didn't show you. There are two servos, the digital servos, okay, for ailerons, one here and one at the left side. Everything comes really nice and PNP, wasn't much work, just need to put it together and it was ready to fly. Hey, check this out. When I turn on my RadioMaster TX16S, what do you see on the screen? Welcome back, Ali Shanmel. <laughs> like it, like you stole it. That's, just, Have fun. that's a nice picture, man. That was an epic picture when we crashed our big horn and we took a nice picture, a sad looking faces, you know, <laughs> and I put it as my starting picture on Radio Master TX 16S. All right, let's fly the Asian flying fish now. Okay, everything seems to be good. Let's just check. Ooh, lots of throws. You know, it's just a basic setup. I didn't set dual rates or anything. Okay, motors are working. So, I'll see how things go. This aileron looks slightly higher. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, trim. So, here we go. This is my Wow. Okay. I really wasn't expecting it to be this stable without any stabilization systems. Really, I thought it would go left, right, and I had to control. It happens on the very, very first throw. But look at this, Inchin flying fish on a very, very first throw. It went so stable, mashallah, that I thought it's a stabilization system in there man but no there's no stabilization system as you have seen i didn't even set dual rates and expos on this and it's flying really nice let me just set a little bit of trim look at that hands free man mashallah what a beautiful design hands free really hands free Look at that, super stable man, super stable, really, absolutely a stable flying platform, quiet, powerful, look at the punch, man, I mean, this is really superb design right here who is the engineer I'm wondering about that very stable relaxing cruising man look at that quiet very very quiet very responsive as well lots of rudder response look at that, how it shoots forward when I look at that when I push push the throttle, it just shoots really quick. And yes, no flight controller means 
I can do aerobatics as well. Gliding at zero throttle. Pitches, nose pitches up on high throttle, but that could be countered by elevator control and some mixing. But apart from that, on lower throttles, it's tracking beautifully straight. And you can fly it inverted, pull all the aerobatics. Man, what else do you need, huh? Look at that. Ishin, really lightweight compact easy to carry as you can see i'm riding my electric scooter and i just hung it on the back of my backpack so it's super easy to carry around and fly it in the parks fly it in open areas and you can fly fpv anywhere you want now on a 3s you have this punch holy moly man look at that that's a three inch three s punch what would happen if you put in a forest they said i mean uh adam rc actually told me that you can put four s no problems the esc and motors are four s capable Man, who needs forest when you have a vertical climb on 3S? Really, who actually needs forest? <laughs> Come on, man. It will be really crazy. And maybe it wouldn't be, you know, low to mid-range or low to mid-speed cruiser glider it would be mid to high speed glider if you have 4s man look at that man that is that is fast still on 3s man you don't need 4s That's plenty speed plenty speed vertical climb look how stable and how straight it's tracking I am surprised and look at that wow punch on the motors the power it climbs vertically and gets that much altitude super quick that's nice man that's really really nice okay so i'm just gonna land just for a safety reason i'm gonna change the battery and fly fpv on it wow what a sweet <sighs> smooth landing man so after my very first flight on a 3s 700 milliamp i I still have 11.5 volt left man that is really a very very efficient system get it stable and there we go okay so far video is clear let me just start recording as well one two three okay dvr is recording now and man i can tell you really very stable platform this is very very stable i feel like there's a flight control system on it man look at that i mean wow Man, this is just simply wow.
such a stable FPV platform. Look how slow I'm flying. It is just absolutely stable. Sorry, I have to sniff because the, <coughs> the goggles are actually pushing my nose nostrils. So let me just adjust the goggles slightly higher. Yeah, now I can breathe properly. Okay. Look at that footage, man. That is the most stable fine blade form I have ever flown without a stabilization system. That's what I have to say, man, really. This is true. It is honest truth right there. And I am kind of having fun with it. By the way, I set the uh, video transmitter to 500 milliwatt just so I don't get any glitches because I have no flight controller. I have no auto return to home stuff on this one. Ooh, I like the climb on it, man. I mean, look at that climb rate on this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Amazing. I forgot I had no flight controller. So, woo -hoo. Woo -wee. I can do FPV aerobatics and fly the way I want. Uh, one moment. Inverted flight. <laughs> nice man this is really stable and fun relaxing FPV platform right here and doggies are quiet why I don't know I actually wanted to bother some doggies but they are quiet let me let me give a low altitude flight I know there are some uh, one couple out there uh, just on my right side playing badminton but I can do a little bit of low altitude flight just to say hello to the doggy look at the shadow okay dodge the couple no oh that wasn't couple the, these are just daddies and sons and daughters playing Man, this is really stable and I mean look at that how low altitude I'm flying now and it's really very easy to control and look at the climb rate superb man inverted flight so that's how it feels to have inverted flight on a real aircraft <laughs> climbing up that's a lot nice long punch there and look at the altitude I have climbed to. Ooh, which one is the floor? I mean, which one is ground now? <laughs> Beautiful man. And you know my best favorite thing to do to lose altitude? Let me show you. That. That's how you lose altitude really quickly. Now, let's give ourselves a beautiful FPV landing, shall we? Dodging all the playing players of badminton. Coming in nice and slow. 
and beautiful land. All right, I would like to conclude after these two flights, line of sight flight and FPV flight. Yes, honestly, absolutely one of the most stable FPV platform this year. Thank you very much, Ishin, for releasing the Flying Fish. Very easy to put together, no soldering required. PNP setup is super easy, it's very, very stable. I mean, without flight controller, it flies the way that it has flight controller. I mean, the aerodynamics, the design of this FPV glider is simply superb. I did not set dual rates. I did not set any kind of expose. I just bind my Radio Master TX16S to Fudaba SFH as a system, configured a four channel setup on my radio and I threw it in the air. And right after tossing it in the air, you have watched. I was really amazed at how stable it went straight, locked in, in the air, that I thought, you know, there's a flight controller in it. But honestly, there is no flight controller in it. And once again, this year is going to finish, but in 2021, Ishin Flying Fish is one of the most stable and very, very highly recommended FPV platform for all of you. You know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there.